hardest, if you had to pinpoint one thing, what was the hardest adjustment uh, from when you retired and just moving on to that next chapter of your life? Forgiveness. Forgiveness in myself. Um, and, 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 and when I say forgiveness, if, you know, and this is, you know, some of this piece is going to be a lot for retired players, guys who careers come to the end, whether it be your high school career, whether it be your college career or anything of that nature. Um, one of the things that we, we are taught as men and as athletes is you don't want to live life with regrets. You know what I mean? You don't want to live with regrets. And I think one of the best things that make a lot of us successful or the reason that we got to that point in our lives um, to be able to play on the national football level is that we saw weaknesses or we saw things where we could grow and, and we and we we didn't avoid those. We took those head on. And, you know, to be out the league and not have control over, you know, if you get picked up. I went to a few different workouts. I went to Houston. I went to Philly, had a workout, private workout with the Vikings, um, went down to Tampa Bay. And every time you go, you, you, you're packing up, you know, you're packing up for four, five weeks. And then you're talking to your wife and your kids and saying, hey, you know, as soon as I get settled, I'm bringing you guys up you know, you know, and, and, and things of that nature. And to go to those workouts and you, you pour it all out. And then at the end to be told uh, you're not good enough, you know, that, that was tough, you know, and that, and I, I personally um, took that on, you know, I didn't look at it like, oh man, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. I looked at myself and said, well, you know, am I not good enough? And so that was the hardest part, um, is just forgiving myself and understanding that, hey, man, God has a bigger plan for all of us, for all of us. And that's each and every day. Um, and you just got to be willing to trust. You got to be willing to trust and you got to use everything that we've learned uh, over the course of our lives to continue to progress, for, for, to, to continue to progress in whatever endeavors that we do. So that, you know, if, if it was anything, it, it was that, you know, I felt like I held myself accountable and I, I, I'm always been my worst critic. And so I had to get over myself and allow myself to say, you know what? It just was time. It was time. And, and God wants you to move somewhere else. And so right now I'm in a better place now than what I was uh, when I when you know, when that time ended for me.